Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I'm here with another video for you. This time I'm going to be doing a eyeglass collection video. So just like my sunglasses, well I'm not sure which one I'm going to post first, um, I just made a video for my sunglass collection, but I also have, um, you know, my eyeglass collection. This is how I store my eyeglasses. I don't store them in their cases, otherwise it'd take me forever to basically find the eyeglasses that I want to wear for the day. And so this is how I store them. I have these clear ac acrylic um, drawer boxes that I did buy from Amazon. Um, there is one piece down here which is a set of three drawers and this one up here which is a set of two drawers. And I ghetto fied this, um, this contraption with, you know, sticking, to the, sticking them together with some scotch tape. But yeah, so let me go ahead and show you what I've got. I currently am wearing my... Um, what are these called? The Ray-Ban 6346 eyeglasses. These are sort of that Clubmaster style, which is, um, you know, that Malcolm X type of style. It has a blue shiny metal um, top here and on the sides, and there is that gold rim. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. Let's start from the top here. And so I have another pair of Ray-Bans. You've probably seen me wear these a lot in my videos. These are the Ray-Ban 6355. More circular, all black. You know, a basic black eyeglass. Everybody needs those, so that is that. Next up, I have another pair of black glasses. These are a Persol 3047. This is what they look like on me, and I could already tell that a lot of these just from the light, you know, um, shooting at my face these are all pretty dirty but yeah so that's what these look like on me um these are very light you could hardly feel them on next up i have starting my collection with my my tom ford um eyeglasses these are all in that um sort of like you know this sort of like the Clubmaster design first up i have a classic black at the top gold at the bottom this is what they look like it's a shiny shiny black you know pretty classic and then i start to go a little bit more wild for this frame i have this frame here which is sort of like a tortoise at the top more of i think people call this like whalebone or something like that so that's on the side there and this is what they look like on me um with my glasses, some of them are in that transitions type of style of, of glasses that do turn from clear to dark when you go outside. These are um, the same glasses that I showed you before, but in, in a different, you know, colorway. This is more of a, you know, type of new age tortoise where it is sort of like black and gold. And this is what they look like on me. You know, same thing. So let me put this drawer back. Oh, did I tell you what these were? So these, actually, let me start off with this one. So the regular black one, it is a TF5268. And these glasses, they are the 5342. So these two glasses are the same, but just different colors. Next up, I have a tray here, another Tom Ford frame. This one is 9257. These were originally sunglasses that I made into regular glasses. You can see that a larger frame suits my face very nicely. But it's nice because there are gold accents. There is that gold um, little design right there. 
and the, um, the nose pieces, they are gold as well. And now if you know anything about glasses, especially the plastic frames, it is very hard um, to find frames that have the nose pieces that are also, you know, this thick black or thick plastic design. And so when I found these, I was like, I don't care how much they were, just, you know, give them to me. And so I did um, get these and I used these for my regular prescription. All right, now next up I have these glasses here, which if you saw my other video on my sunglass collection, you'll see that I have these glasses. Let me just take out the tray here. These glasses are basically the same, just different color. This is the one where I have my, my prescription in there. And so this is what they look like on me. And sometimes I take my lenses out of these and I put them into, you know, one of those um, solid color frames like the black or the blue one. And this is the RB4210. So if you're interested in getting these, these are still available. Just look how light and thin they are. These are, you know, very, very amazing. And I get a lot of compliments on this one in particular. Um, next up, I have a pair of Giorgio Armani's. These are more circular, and these are the AR7028. These are what these look like on me. You can see it's a classic tortoise in, in color. The front is plastic. Again, I have those nose pieces, which I need. And then I have, you know, a metal temple. And the back here is also in that tortoise color. These are also in that transition style. And again, these, these glasses are just my current prescription. I know, you know, you can only wear one at a time and I don't need so many eyeglasses, but I look at eyeglasses as an accessory. And yeah, I mean, people out there have multiple, you know, rings or watches or um, ties, let's say. I just happen to have a lot of eyeglasses and sunglasses too. So going on into my collection here, I have a pair of Burberry um, eyeglasses. Um, you can see the checker pattern on the temple here. A nice black, sleek frame. These are what they look like on me. It's basic from the, the front, but then when you get to the side, you can see that nice checker or that um, plaid pattern. And so that are those. And then I have these glasses. These were originally um, sunglasses as well. And these do not have the anti-reflective coating on them as you can see a lot of glare. And I do see a lot of glare just looking out of them. And I bought these only because I needed to use my, my vision insurance at the time. Um, when I was working and yeah these basically came out to maybe I think forty dollars or so with the frame and the lenses but yeah so I don't use these as much but I still like them and for these they do not have the nose pieces and so I do have these plastic I think they're silicone um, nose pad stickers and I did buy these off of Amazon I do have them in different colors these are in the clear. I don't know if you can see them or not. Let me try to focus in on them. There you go. You could sort of see them right here. I could take them off. And they also come in a clear. These are a white and they also do come in a black. Um, the nice thing about these is that, you know, if you find a pair of glasses that you like that don't have those nose pieces, you can buy these to put them on. The bad thing about them is that they only last maybe um, a couple weeks or so with, you know, continued use because as the, the oils from your skin seep into the, you know, the backing on here, it, you know, reduces the, the stickiness of the sticker and eventually it will fall off. And so that is a pain. And I think that pretty much does it with all my, um, eyeglasses well i do have another pair of eyeglasses that i have at work and i think i have another pair of eyeglasses in the car but yeah that is all i wanted to talk about for today if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them down below if you're interested in any of these glasses or whatnot i could um you know take more pictures or 
do a more of a thorough review on them. Again, my face is more circular in shape, as you can see, and I do have a, um, you know, larger than normal head shape, I would, or head size, if, you, if I can say that. Um, but yeah, like I said, you just have to try on any glasses and if they look good on you, you know, go ahead and, you know, take them for a test drive. Most places they do have a, you know, return or exchange policy, so be sure to, you know, make sure you look into that, but I would suggest, you know, trying them on in the store and, you know, trying them on for a while. And if you still like them, get them. If you're still unsure, maybe um, come back another day to try them on again. Only because, you know, making the lenses for these glasses, you know, you can't use those lenses for another pair of glasses, basically. And it, you know, is not a good look for the store itself or, you know, for, you know, any store getting all these returns or exchanges. But that is a whole separate issue there i just wanted to show you my collection um yeah that's all i'm gonna say for now and just remember to be you and stay confident take care you guys bye